We got Trench Stalker. We'll just kill him with the big boy. Boom. <laughs> There's not even a need for a third hit. Let's just end the game there. Goodness gracious. Um, Get rid of everything here. I don't really want any of these cards. I want to try to find the three mana steam cleaner or maybe a two drop that I can play for tempo. I like this. The reason why I don't run the Minotauran is two. One, I just, I'm trying out a different build that doesn't run it with the pickaxe and I run the pickaxe instead. Um, and two is yes, if you get it after Black Rock and Roll and or Lorthamore, it can be really, really strong. However, there are also a lot of instances where you draw it before, right? Like even if you hard mulligan, since you're hard mulliganing every time, you don't really know what's gonna be in your hand. If you draw it before you play black rock and roll, it is a six mana five five, essentially do nothing. Like yeah, you gain five armor, which sounds good in practice, or in theory. In practice, it's not very good for a six drop. I would rather play Olgra, and if I play this on turn three, I'm popping. Like I kill off multiple minions, um, like, this is gonna kill off all of these minions and live with one HP. And he's overloaded next turn, which just hurts him so incredibly much. Look at this. Boom, 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 and it's still alive. Like, I understand the Minotauran is good, and in certain situations, it feels incredible. But in other situations, it just feels worse, and I think the battle pickaxe is also better for tempo. So if it's in my hand, I can at least play something on turn three if I don't have a good card in certain situations as well. Okay. They hit, take three damage, I'm okay with that. Do I want to play Black Rock and Roll? Or do I want to play the minion that pumps up other taunt minions immediately? I'm down to play this for three minions and play Black Rock and Roll next turn. I just like saving the coin because if I can coin out Lorthamar or make a big play later on, it's really strong. Black Rock and Roll next turn, and then turn five could even be like this into something else. We have the deck list. The deck list is in the description. Festival is more versatile and removal and protection. Yeah, I could play it for tempo if needed on turn three into aggressive aggressive matchups. It kills things off so against like Hunter and Rogue, I can at least stand a chance. Black Rock and Roll, hit here, the other two go please. So I want to try to flood the board right now, and then he plays Reno, and then I'm able to play like one really big minion. Is that the heal five? Yeah, fair enough. Armagadillo! I love that card. Hi, you! I'm okay with that. If my board gets wiped and he summons these things, I do not really care all that much. I'll go face with this, it doesn't matter. I think I would rather play the treasure guard, actually. I think the card draw is fairly important here. I think the card draw is fairly important here. Because I do really want to draw more options and get more things. At least you were lucky enough to get Black Rock and Roll. It's most effective early games. Yeah, of course. It's it's way more effective in the early game, for sure. Um, Lightning Storm does suck, but several of these minions live, and guess what? You don't actually have the, the mana to play um, Sir Finley anymore. So I can now flood the board pretty hard. <laughs> Goodness gracious, what are you doing? Four mana, okay, another four mana into three mana seems pretty good. Boom, boom. They can't play Reno because they're overloaded. Every card but one, sometimes I'll keep a two drop. It's very, very good. Do they hit the 4-3 into my minion to get two 3-3s? Three they are going to get two 3-3s. Three I guess I play the tortoise this turn. I don't like it, but I think it's correct. And I don't want to overcommit to the board because Reno exists. Repeated jokes are still funny though. You're a joke repeater? That, no, we're not joke repeaters here. But you know what? For that, I'll give you a the joke's funny. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's it's I don't know if you heard that actually. Wait, I need to did you hear that? Did I set it up correct? Oh, you do hear it. Sick. Okay. A little bit frustrating. Let's see here. I have a weapon 
They probably kill the weapon. They he don't heal. They didn't forge it first, which I think is weird. Oh, okay. It dies, but I do get to discover a minion. And this is a bigger card anyway. Mana Thirst. This could be good if I get like Zilliax or something. So I might take this for potential later. That dies. I'm still scared of Reno, but if he didn't have it, he's gonna have to top deck it. And if he's gonna have to top deck it, oh man, you're really gonna do this to me? You're gonna make me choose between two insane options? Fine, I'll take that. Boom, boom, hit for nine. Remornia possibly was lethal. No, it's not possibly lethal. What was I thinking? I should have just taken Remornia. I got greedy. I got greedy. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Remornia wins me the game here, and I threw. Remornia wins me the game here, and I chucked it. Oh my gosh. Remornia literally wins me the game here. Look, it's called Extended BM. And I stand by it. Boom, hero power. I'm not gonna play the other things. There's no reason to really. What have I done? Why didn't I just take Remornia? I had lethal, it was so free. Oh my God. Okay, don't kill my 14-14, don't pun it. Wait, hold on, you're targeting my face. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. Uh, we love the Steam Guardian. Steam Guardian's fantastic. We're not able to draw a card off of this, which is actually pretty disappointing, I would say. Uh, I love this person's name for the horde. That's amazing. Oh God, you have to stop drawing me like this, man. You here for the tour? I shouldn't have gotten rid of Sir Finley. I shouldn't have gotten rid of Sir Finley with Blackrock and Roll My Hand. I could have just played Sir Finley to regain my deck. I didn't think about that. In my head, I was like, oh, I've already got the card. I'll keep Sir Finley. Or I'll get rid of Sir Finley because there's no reason to have it. But no, it, it refills my hand with giant ass minions. That was a misplay on my part. I apologize. Blast Tortoise. I didn't think about that. I didn't think that through at all. And I wasn't really waiting for a spell. I was I was waiting for Reno so I could play a card after Reno happened and I could maybe regain the board a little bit. Four mana, okay. Fair enough. Quite a solid play. Keep the three, three. There's no reason to hit into it or hit with it and just have it die. I think I just play Magatha next turn, and if I overdraw a card, I don't think it matters. Armor, armor, I just don't think it matters at all. I love Lorthamar, but we have to play that. We got a Blast Tortoise, which is honestly the main thing we were looking for to help me wipe this board. We're not able to play the Chain Gang, but that's okay. We're able to wipe the board next turn with the tortoise. How many times have they excavated? They'll excavate one time at the end of this. <coughs> Could be a Theotar situation. Interesting. Okay, well, if they're not gonna develop that much of a board, I guess I could do this and that to put two things out. Lava Gorger, I did one armor. I'm gonna go boom plus boom. Just put a couple of things out on the board. I think that's better. That just doesn't seem like a big enough board for me to want to wipe. Warlock is free wins for any deck, no? I mean, no. If they're able to excavate and bounce it back, like, they're still able to potentially kill me with three of them. Silence, you fuck! Oh, no! Okay, now we play the tortoise. Now we play the tortoise, because that's a lot of damage. Damn, dude, that's crazy. I want to play Lorthmar here, but I can't, because I'm taking so much fucking damage. I have to do that. The silence really sucks because it gets rid of a pump. 
Sargeras comes down on turn 9, so if I'm able to flood the board next turn, I can play around Sargeras, I guess. They get rid of a Doomkin, which I don't like. If they had Sargeras in their hand, I think they would have played that. Actually, it might just be you. It's a slow enough turn to where I think that just might be better. So, Trench Stalker top deck and Olgra top deck win me the game. You're Highlander? Why? Wait, what? I genuinely did not expect that. Wait, why are you Highlander? You're Excavate plus Highlander? Oops. I should have played the weapon first. That's my bad. I don't get to attack with it this turn. It doesn't matter too much, but it's still bad. I didn't even realize I had the weapon in my hand. I completely forgot about it. That's my bad. That was I played it too fast. Reverb. I mean... The Tortoise is not bad, I guess. But I mean, it'll kill them both off, which is fine. This is super weird. Could be boom into boom to just pump up more things. I still win the game with Trenchstalker, no? Oh. Uh, actually, no, because if it hits one of these minions, I could lose. We'll, we'll go for Trench Stalker like next turn. Boom, into boom, and then we'll hit him. So I went with the guaranteed board wipe, but next turn, I think I'll try to find Trench Stalker to win. <clears throat> but no, I could have hit this, and then Trench Stalker guaranteed goes face. I just take 16 damage, but I don't die. But the problem is if I play Sir Finley and I don't hit Trench Stalker, I kind of screwed myself. Okay, I'm fine with that. We can still win the game with the Trench Stalker. Freeze, or silence and then freeze, sorry. Okay. This is annoying, but fine. Rush? But that rush isn't even gonna kill it. It doesn't even die here. I think it's just Sir Finley look for Trench Stalker. Statistically speaking, it's likely, and if not, we can maybe at least find Zilliax and do something with that. But if we find Trench Stalker, we'll just win. Doesn't look like we found it, which is a bit unfortunate, and we didn't find Zilliax, which is doubly disappointing. Um, but you are quite solid. Uh, we'll summon a bunch of these and then just go face because he has to wipe this board. He could play Sargeras I can't believe I didn't find anything Olgra at this point wins me. Okay, literally Olgra and Trench Stalker both win me the game If they play Sargeras, I'm able to flood with pretty solid stats I can't really kill the 7-5. I can't kill that. No, I probably could. I can, I can, I can, I can. Okay, but they can't kill the 12. Oh, Emily, sick. They do kill it with that. Okay. I play everything next turn, it doesn't matter. Armagadillo, <clears throat> this, this hero power. This kills Yogg. I wanted to play the Armagadillo, but wasn't really in the cards for me here. He only has 10 cards left in his deck. I mean, I would not put it past him to have it. I guess him having Reno or him having um Doomkin. No, because he runs Doomkin in a lot. This was just so weird. Yogg. It wasn't Yogg, thank goodness. If it had been Yogg though, we lose. Well, we don't lose. Again, that's an exaggeration, but it would have been annoying. Drain Soul. I guess that's fine. We got Trench Stalker. We'll just kill him with the big boy. Boom. <laughs> There's not even a need for a third hit. Let's just end the game there. Goodness gracious. Twisting Nether would feel bad. Yeah, but we draw an extra card. We pump up some stuff. In this particular matchup, I'm thinking about keeping the festival security, mostly to try to wipe a board early, but I still want to try to find the Steam Guardian into Black Rock and Roll. I still think it's really good. I might play minions though. I might go coin this, play this, play this, play this, and just try to flood the board with stats and minions to protect me against their aggro. 
Like turn three, I would rather play um, Blackrock and uh, Roll. No, I would rather play the Steam Guardian, but if not, I'm fine just putting out Taunt Minions because this Demon Hunter deck is going to be aggressive for sure. The deck code's in the description. Magath is interesting. But yeah, we need to start fighting for board immediately against the Demon Hunter. When this card is attacked, draw a card. For four mana? That could be better than this. We'll take that. I might need card draw. Turn two, turn three. I might not get anything off of turn three. Hopefully I'm able to discover a three drop, like a Tar Creeper, whatever it's called. What deck should I craft? I have Highlander Demon Hunter, Highlander, or not sorry, Highlander Druid, Highlander Hunter, Highlander Shaman, Nature Shaman. I want something cool. Um, what? Um, but not Paladin or Priest. I mean, all of those decks seem pretty good to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> you are also a very good four drop. I will take that as well. And then I will <coughs> go face, I guess. I mean, if I hit that, like, they can give it plus one, plus one, I guess, and kill us off. But if they waste a spell to do that, I'm fine. Your relic. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. I actually don't know if I want to copy Relic of Phantasms. I might want to try to copy the one that draws cards instead. So let's just do that and then go trade, trade. Relic Demon Hunter. That's interesting. I haven't seen one of those in a minute. The other version of this deck? Actually, no, that was a long time ago. I don't I don't fully remember it. Okay. Bonk, pump this up, play it. We'll play Black Rock and Roll next turn. I actually don't want to play this because if I play this and I draw more cards, that's less cards getting pumped with Black Rock and Roll. Um Their turn five is gonna be a little bit slow, hopefully. Then I play my turn five, which is very slow, and then my turn six is hopefully gonna be like this, copy their Relic of Dimensions play. That's interesting. Not interesting. That's gonna be difficult to deal with. Thought about crafting Highlander Demon Hunter? I don't know if Highlander Demon Hunter is really that good, to be honest. I think it's fine. Like, I don't think it's bad. But I just don't think it's particularly good. Yeah, sure. This is fine. I mean, this plus this together potentially on turn nine could be insane. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We knew that they were gonna do that. We knew it. We've planned for this. We get to draw extra cards and reduce their cost by one. It's insane. It's insane. I, just, I, I mean, Highlander Demon Hunter was actually really fun and it was surprisingly mediocre, but I don't think that, I, I mean, there are better decks out there is what I'm trying to say. Useless to me. Give me a four drop. Give me a chain gang, baby. Give me a chain gang. I will also take the Lava Gorger. I will also accept the Lava Gorger and then play Sir Finley. Because I don't really need any of these cards. I like them, but I feel like there are better cards that I can get. Let's go boom, because we can play it. This will curve out very nicely, but this is also a very wide board. But a 12-17 is just too good to pass up. It's a 12 freaking 17, man. I'm an idiot! I should have played that! We're not gonna talk about it. I could have played this literally at any point in the game to just get a free chain gang. But instead, I decided to just play it for some extra stats. But the extra stats don't mean anything! The extra stats literally just don't mean anything. Hit the 2-4. Okay, hit the 2-4. I'll take that, we'll take that. I mean, it did soak up damage from the Relic of Extinction. So, I mean, like, I don't hate it, but I'm not thrilled. Are you looking for a strong, interesting deck or both? That's an, that's a good question. Are you looking for a strong deck, an interesting deck, or both? Because if you're looking for a strong deck, I mean, Highlander Shaman, Highlander Hunter, Highlander Druid, all the decks that you mentioned are very strong. <laughs> but I don't know exactly what you're looking for, you know? Sigil Runner, that's fine. Off of the Snake Eyes, it's in the Outcast position, that's cool. Relic Vault, okay. I mean, we get him to what? Very, very low amounts of HP. <laughs> what do I want to kill off? Um, let's kill off this. Go face. And then we will um, hit the 3-3, three, three, I guess. We can hit this. This could potentially be more problematic if he brings it back somehow. 
<coughs> and then that'll go face me, get him to three. We can play a couple of taunt minions. We can go like this plus this next turn on turn eight. It's not as good, but it still floods the board. Yeah. Luckily, we still have this weapon though. So we still have the direct damage. We still have the direct damage to win as long as they can't heal. Whenever you play, not summon, so this doesn't give it two durability, but that's not that big of a deal. I'll hit him with the top decked one to tilt him a little bit. And then, uh, hit. Big stats, baby! Uh, get rid of everything here. We want to try to find Black Rock and Roll or the Steam Guardian. I feel like it's crazy that the math adds up to about 70% chance, 73% of the- 73% chance I will get Black Rock and Roll by turn 5 with this deck, and I feel like I haven't even got it 50% of the time. Like, obviously, when you guys watch the YouTube video, when this is a video, you'll see, like, only the wins, which usually revolve around Black Rock and Roll, if this ends up making the cut for a video. So it'll be like, oh, what is he complaining about? He is always getting it. But, like, I'm actually not. It's kind of crazy. I got it really early on. Are you trolling? Are you trolling? What? To be fair, I don't really want to hit with this. I'll just, I'll just stick with this. I'll just stick with the weapon. If he plays Rust Rot Viper and he has the Rust Rot Viper, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Pumps up one minion, the Chain Gang. I will coin that out. I think it's fine. Coin will go bonk and then we'll hit the 3-3. Uh, the three, three. And then it'll be a weapon again, which is not bad. Why would you play Dirty Rat on turn two? Have you learned nothing from years of Hearthstone's existence? You never coin that out turn two. Or you never play that turn one. Uh, that's a bit frustrating. It does die to the minion though, which is nice. I think I'd like to play you and see if I find uh, something at the bottom. So you could actually be good though. So I'll take that because I think that it has a lot of potential. Um, I don't really want you to die here. So I'm actually just going to keep you like that and do this. I'm going to force him to trade. If he wants to trade in, he can. Turn five is awkward, but we can do this plus this. Because the other guy's just there like if he plays a six spell and I'm like, oh, I I'd like that spell. Drain soul off the top. Reverb into defile. I went to Astalor, okay. This dies though. It shouldn't become a weapon, I don't think. Yeah. Okay, not bad. Reverb, not the best thing in the world here. Let's play this into ya boy, the frightened flunky. Interesting. I do want Dredge again, I think, turn four, but extra stats is pretty good. But my stats are already pretty decent, so I'll take the Lava Gorger, I guess. And then uh, just go full face here. None of these other cards really matter. Let's just try to finish them off. Let's try to get it. Dirty rat turn two all the time. Yup. Yup. Turn two, baby. That's what I like to call a great play. I was even thinking like, okay, if it hits one of my other cards, it's super good. But if it hits Remornia. Oh, okay. Wow, wait, you're actually able to survive for quite a long time with this. It's worth, it's worth, it's worth. Because if this hits the 7-7, seven, seven, I just win the game next turn. Yeah, reverb isn't great. You reverb yourself, you're trolling. Okay, if you hit the 7-7, seven, seven, you win. I think you're guaranteed to. Because these things won't even die. Yeah, yeah, that hits there. Then I hit here. And then this is 12 damage. Cool, okay. We found lethal. I knew I knew lethal was there. Cool. I I knew we had lethal there somewhere. It just took me a minute to calculate. It.